Hey everybody, and welcome to Let's Look at Torkel. It might be called Torque L, but I don't know why. I, I kind of like Torkel. Uh, just, you know, like what Torkel's your fancy? Just try it on for size, see if you like it. Anyway, this is a an upcoming, I'm currently playing a, a beta or alpha version of the game, a prototype. It might even be earlier than uh, a quote-unquote alpha uh, version of the game that is a puzzler platformer, uh, but with a very unique and totally absurd mechanic. So, uh, we basically play as this man that is inside of this box, and the box is surrounded by four different colors that correspond to the buttons on the Xbox 360 controller. As you can see, you can also play this uh, perfectly fine with the keyboard and mouse, or just keyboard, I guess. Um, in any case, what our um, gimmick here is, is that each one of these buttons, like if we press the green button, which is the A button on the Xbox 360 controller, uh, corresponds to shooting a big rod out of one side of our box, and our whole goal is to try to manipulate physics, basically, uh, and, you know, get some torque, I guess, to uh, allow us to get to the end of every single level. It is uh, totally unique, absurd, and uh, as an added bonus, uh, absolutely free if you want. You can pick this up uh, at the website linked in the video description below. You can download the exact prototype I'm playing for free, or you can give a donation, you know, pay what you want, basically, is the, uh, the model on display here. But in any case, let's move on to the next level, and you'll see what is going on uh, with this crazy experience that we've got right here. So basically, again, this is Torkoal. It might seem like it's super easy so far, uh, but in actuality, this has been one of the more punishing puzzle platformers that I've played in a long time, largely because uh, the the sheer, like, insanity of, of the gimmick. Like, I, I, I've never manipulated a person in two-dimensional space like this before, so I seem to spend a lot of time basically just being, like, you know, popping rods out of the side of my box. But anyway, uh, I originally came across this from an article written uh, by the staff of IndieStatic.com on, like, games that they were really interested in uh, learning more about at E3. And I was like, you know what, this looks totally up my alley. You know, I, I'm not above playing Torabash or something like that. Uh, you know, games where the, the entire premise, or Co-op is the same way, the entire premise is like, why can't I do this simple thing? Uh, so I decided to check this out, and I, I'm very glad I did, because I'm having a lot of fun with it, I'm laughing my ass off, I'm cursing the screen, as well as the gods of physics, uh, but the whole time, I, I'm mostly having a smile on my face. So let's just get through a few levels here. Uh, the furthest I've gotten in the prototype is level 8. I'm not sure how many levels there actually are. Uh, the first few levels start out fairly easy. But I promise you, when, uh, and believe me when I say, uh, that things will get more and more difficult as you move along. So there's two basic strategies that I've learned so far from playing uh, Torkoal, you know, for 45 minutes to an hour. The first one is, you can jump pretty effectively just by getting close to an edge, and then holding the button to kind of extend for a second, uh, and then rolling over. Like, that might be enough to get us through... Uh, this level right here, if we can just, yeah, get a little bit lucky and then, you know, let momentum basically carry us the rest of the way. Uh, the other kind of tactic that I don't understand how to use at all yet, basically, is, uh, using multiple, uh, kind of rods jutting out at exactly the same time to spend us, to push us in a specific direction. In a weird way, it kind of reminds me of a Silver Dollar Games, uh, Xbox Live, or sorry, Xbox Indie Game. Uh, called Try Not to Fart, and I am loath to mention it because I I really hate the work that they do with silver games, silver dollar, silver dollar games. My apologies uh, for misattributing them there. Uh, but uh, you know, in that game, you were basically tasked with pressing buttons on the Xbox 360 controller in succession and holding them down for a while, which caused your brain to kind of short circuit as you're like, okay. I have, like, my index finger on Y and my thumb on X, and then I'm like, oh, what do I do now? Et cetera, et cetera. It's basically meant to be confusing. That's exactly the way that I feel about the, um, a mechanic of using multiple rods in Torkoal so far. I have not been able to use them effectively, but sometimes I've gotten lucky. I should say, or I shouldn't say I've been unable to use them, uh, effectively. I've been unable to intentionally use them effectively, but sometimes I get very, very lucky. You can also, you know, bounce around down here on the bottom. There are occasional physics glitches that you'll see. Uh, by the way, but keep in mind that this is a total work in progress. I'm not sure if this game is actually at E3. Definitely seems like a fit, you know, you could go watch Bungie demo Destiny at the Sony booth, and then, hey, let's play some Torkoal. Fits right in. Uh, this is the first level that really caused me some major, major problems when I played the game. But I think I can get lucky and just, like, bounce up here. And then, this is the hard jump, actually. Because you have to, you can't actually just get up next to it. Kind of forces you to learn some new tactics. Because if you just try to get up next to it, uh, you can't get close enough, I think, uh, to land the jump normally. And if you get try to get closer, then there is that sloped edge there. So you just kind of shoot out 
uh, into the stratosphere. And now I totally regret saying that because it turns out it worked totally fine for us. Let's see if we can get lucky and maybe... Oh, okay. That seems like kind of a physics glitch there. Just give it a sec. Hey! Okay, let's try to make this jump. I think you can probably try to, like, just slide yourself in through the bottom there. Uh, the Northern Lion story, obviously. Oh, god damn it. That happens a lot. Like, resetting all of your progress by accident. Um, but I'm gonna try to go over the top. That's the way I got here the first time. Took Sylvester Stallone's advice, and it ended up working out okay for me. So let's go again. Uh, sometimes I find myself getting sucked into the landscape again. That's worth noting. Work in progress. So let's roll over here and see if we can make this jump up to the top again. And I think this is one mission where I basically just like... It's weird to have a puzzle platformer where you can effectively just mash buttons. Uh, but to a certain extent, that is how I beat uh, this mission when I played it through uh, off-camera myself. And by the way, you know, there there is no save in this demo. So I'm assuming that either it's short or um, that, you know, you're going to want to beat it in one session. Otherwise, you're probably going to find yourself sort of frustrated with the whole thing. So I'm sure there's, like, advanced tactics that I'm just not considering here. Take off Y? Oh, that didn't work. Um, but, again, my puny brain makes it so that it's, it's oftentimes easier for me uh, to just rotate and then mash the buttons randomly. And then when I get into a position where I can make something happen, just go like, oh, 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 and then inevitably blow it. Uh, let's try oh, that one almost worked, actually. Let's try this again. Oh, I'm trapped inside of the wall. I guess that's why they have a reset button uh, in the game. Okay, so we, we might be able to make this here. How should we do this? If we let go of Y, we'll start... Oh, I let go of B at the same time. See, it's got that try not to fart mechanic in it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I would encourage you to look up try not to fart so you actually understand what's going on. But please do not buy it on my recommendation, at least. Uh, okay, we're going to roll up here. There we go. Uh, we're going to make the jump up here. Like so. And again, the comparisons to Quop or Torabash, I think, are definitely uh, valid here. Because this is totally a game where you're like, the exit's just there. If this was a, if this was N or N+, plus, I could just jump there. If this was Super Meat Boy, I could just jump there. Uh, but because this is Torkoal, it's like, oh, I can't do this thing that I want to be able to do so easily. Anyway, it's, it's got kind of that Surgeon Simulator thing, I guess, going for it as well. Though, you know, heart surgery and jumping probably are not necessarily uh, on exactly the same level of aptitude required to be good enough at it to be noteworthy. Now, uh, maybe that'll do... Oh, we're like so close. I, the problem is I, I, I feel like I have to use momentum more than I actually end up using momentum. And unfortunately, requiring... Or momentum requires the use of timing. Otherwise, you know, you'll lose the momentum. So uh, oftentimes I find myself struggling. I wonder if I can just make this jump with a well-timed uh, little torquil spin. As I am calling it. Uh, didn't work out very well at all. I wish there was kind of like a level skip button because we could actually be stuck here for like 10 minutes. But let's get up there. Maybe I'll just let my commentary turn into like a, a critical style. It's critical with a 1, not critical with a, you know, Game Developers Magazine or something. Oh, hey. There we go. Uh, okay, bounce up. Then roll over. Okay, maybe we have to be closer to the edge. Bounce up, roll over. Uh, don't get sucked into the ground. That's a big problem. This is the first level that, you know, the, there's a light at the end of the tunnel if we actually manage to make it past this level here because uh, the um, level that comes immediately after this is actually quite easy. I think this is a case of this level kind of being a little bit imbalanced, maybe for good reasons. Okay, we got something good going on here. Let go of X. Don't let go. Ah, oh, you let go of B, you scumlord. Okay, let go of X. Let go of X. There we go. It's harder than it looks, I promise. Oh, that was B again. Okay, now let go of A. Let, oh, now B. Okay, how do we do this now? Y? Y caused us to fade through the center of the earth, which is not what I wanted. You do have to, or I have to, like, dictate this. Oh, Jesus Christ. Dictate this to myself uh, in my head, otherwise, or out loud, I guess, even. Because uh, otherwise, I just can't parse it into my brain effectively in order to, you know, do the things that I want to do. Okay, I'm just trying to, like, do the standard jump here to make this happen. Occasionally, we spaz out, and that gets us ever closer to the exit. My hand is actually cramping up here. Okay. This is like when I played the free boredom game on Desura and ended up being unable to beat the boss. Roll up. I can't stress enough, by the way, that if you think you can do better, check out the link in the video description because you can pick up the game for free. Uh, so let's roll over like that, and I almost torqued it there. You got to admit. Okay, now, now, now. What do we do? Let go of B. How do we do this? A? Yes! No, 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 no! Yes! Oh, fuck! I had it! I was so close! Okay. Try this again. I'm serious. Okay, let go of X. 
Okay, now let go of A and B. All right, I'm starting to get the hang of it, I feel. We torqued ourselves up a little bit there in a good way. Oh, there we go. Okay, this is good. Now we're on top. We should not be able to lose this at this point. This is very much my experience with Torkoal so far is uh, brief moments of success punctuated or I guess, you know, permeated by uh, substantial moments of, of absolute frustration and failure. I mean that in a positive way. By the way, in mentioning that the game is free, I should uh, at least point out that there is the opportunity to uh, actually pay for the game if you are interested in doing so. It's not a pre-order uh, in a traditional sense. It is a more of a pay-what-you-want style donation to get the prototype, so you'd still have to buy the actual game when it came out. So that's inevitably going to discourage a lot of people. But, uh, you know, if you're not uh, averse to paying a dollar or two for the opportunity to play a, a game that's still in an early state like this, maybe consider doing that to support the developer. That is what I did, but anyway... Uh, let's roll up here a little bit more. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna try to skirt around this guy on the right side. This is the way I managed to do it, uh, when I played it off camera. So we wanna, like, time our roll like so, and then get up here, and then we just gotta make this jump, which is probably gonna involve, uh, hitting X, if I had to guess, uh, hitting the blue Skittle, probably. So let's try this. By the way, there, oh, that was totally easy, actually. There is a, a, a break button in the game as well, which I should probably use a little bit more effectively. That's the uh, left bumper. So we can see when my guy holds his hands out, he's not saying stop, hammer time. He's saying, like, let's get going here, uh, or let's, let's stop going here. We're going to break. So I was able to get through this level just by doing a little bit of bouncing. Oh, because the problem is, you know, we're, we're a cube, so, you know, we kind of slide downwards, or we're a square, I guess. So we kind of slide downwards on this, but I guess we can just like inchworm our way up here. This is actually easier than I would have anticipated. Uh, it's not super graceful, especially since my dude's upside down, but it is actually going to allow us to get the job done here. Oh, or is it? There we go. We just had to get up over that lip at the top. Now, this is a level that I 100% got stuck at, and I would not be surprised if this is the level that we end up finishing this video at. First few obstacles are super easy. That one you saw us get over already is uh, a, a no-brainer basically this one's just a very simple jump this is the ultimate fucker right here uh, I and I fall down here so many times I'll probably try this for like three or four minutes but you know prepare for frustration uh, and I'm interested to see if people have better strategies for getting past this part because I have so far just been getting my ass kicked so you jump up you roll up I can get onto this tiny platform I can't stay there, and the real problem is, so you jump up, and then you land on the tiny platform, but then you gotta figure out very, very quickly what button to press uh, in order to uh, boost you even higher. I think that's how you're supposed to do that. And usually I just end up doing this, as you can see right here, like becoming a star child or the Windows logo or something, um, and uh, then just flailing around and eventually dying. So this one's easy, just boost yourself up. I, you know, it still might take me three or four tries. There's some difficulty in... This is, you know, when I talk about puzzle platformers, I often mention the balance between uh, difficult to execute and difficult to conceptualize. So a puzzle that's difficult to conceptualize might be something like Braid, where you're dealing with, like, time rewind mechanics, and you're like, oh, my brain doesn't understand how you're supposed to do this. Uh, difficulty in execution, this is the perfect example. You understand perfectly how to do something, uh, but the, the real problem is actually making it happen uh, when you get there. So I, I realize, like, yeah, just, you know, plank your little colored rod down on that tiny square and it'll boost you upwards a little bit. Actually making that happen is, is a, another story altogether. Uh, so I, again, that, that was probably a bad idea. Oh, wait, 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 we're torquing. Okay. Take the finger off A. Good. Oh, it was so good. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, oh, I lost it. We might actually be able to make this work. If I could get past this level, I would be psyched. I doubt, if, if I had to guess... Maybe I'll phrase this differently. If I had control over the design and release of this game, this would not be the level that you encounter 15 minutes in, because it is a, a real pain in the dick. Instead, uh, this would be one of the later levels. And, you know, to be fair to the developers, maybe it is one of the later levels. Okay, we're going to torque here. So I'm going to get rid of uh, B and Y. Oh, we still don't have the, the power. Can we get rid of X and then come up? We can. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is impossible for me, basically. Um... We can try to pinwheel ourselves up here. This won't do for us, I think. I think it's it's easiest if you just kind of boost yourself up like that. Uh, but then this next section is the, the real pain in the dick, as you can probably guess. Okay, now we're going to torque. So let go of A and B. How can I do that? Like this. And then torque yourself. Ah! Oh, was real close there. Okay. Let's try to get up here again. We're getting dangerously close. This is much closer than I'd gotten previously. Oh, that... 
I've got to rely on, you know, not getting shot backwards, which, I, again, I don't know why that happens. I'm sure there's a very good reason for it. I just don't know what it is. So, again, we're going to launch ourselves up. Grab on. Okay. This is good. This is good. Now, we get rid of Y and B in this case, I think. I think that's in our best interest. Or, actually, it would probably be best to get rid of Y, X. Okay. So, let's just shift our thumb downwards. Oh, shit. Okay. I mean, if I get rid of B, I'll just fall down, right? We might as well try. If I get rid of A, obviously gravity will just carry me. But let's let's get rid of B, and oh, I go. Okay, we're gonna try one more time. That was definitely the closest I've gotten so far. These reactions, by the way, this is not Northern Lions face cam heart rate monitor rage through of Torkel. This is a, a manifestation of the genuine frustration that I get when I play through this game. But it's good frustration because it's absurd. It's not like, oh, I can't find the key to open this door. It's more like, why doesn't physics bend to my will when I require it to do so? So, oh, that's not gonna work. Okay, one more try. We're, we're torquing already up here. I'm making some good things happen. Is this, this isn't good. Get rid of X in this situation. That's a gimme. Okay, now. Yeah, I get that you're walking here, dude. Uh, what, what else will help us? I think if we get rid of B, we'll just fall down. So what if we get rid of A? Just A. Oh, that's gonna be... There we go. Uh, and now we get rid of B, and maybe we can torque all the way up there? Can we, like, get rid of B and then shoot it out again to give us some momentum? So here we go. Ah, didn't work. Okay. Well, you know what? That's going to do it for my let's look at of Torkoal, because otherwise we could be here for 20 goddamn minutes. Suffice it to say, this is one of the most absurd games uh, that I've played recently. Uh, because it's such an early let's look at, I'm not taking much of a critical uh, kind of stance on this game. Is it good? Is it bad? It's frustrating, uh, but, you know, to a certain extent, that's kind of the point. So, uh, you know, know that going in. By the way, this is totally free, so you can check this out. Uh, there is a Linux, Mac, and uh, Windows build uh, available on the website that I have linked in the video description below. Free or, you know, feel free to toss a couple of bucks at the developer uh, for the privilege of playing this prototype version of the game. I have no idea what future plans for its release are. We're going to try to torque one last time here. Get rid of Y. No, oh, well, I botched that pretty miserably. But yeah, um, hopefully I've covered all of the release details there. As always, I hope you found the video entertaining or maybe a little bit informative. Make sure to go check out the game if you're interested. And thanks for watching. As always, I'll see you next time.